Did they go up? Did they go down? Did it stay the same? Fingers in. Let's check it out. What's up everybody? Jeremy here, a few pounds heavier, but that's a long story. I'm doing a little science experiment today. I've recently picked up a fingertip pulse oximeter. I'm excited to use it. I've never really messed with these things before. I was actually looking in to get in the Garmin 945 or waiting actually for the Garmin 955 whenever it would come out just for the sole purpose of getting the oximeter, really because of the whole COVID thing. One of the things they say that people are waiting too long to go to the hospital, their oxygen levels drop too low, they don't know it. By the time they get to the hospital, it's been too late. Though uh, debating the lethalness of COVID is debatable, I guess. It's still lethal, so that's the reason behind getting it. But after looking at the prices for a while, I just couldn't really um, bring myself to even get the old 945, even if it would drop down in price. So I currently use, and still will probably always use, the Vivo Active 3, which has never failed me. I love it. It's a great watch. does everything I need. So I went ahead, and instead of getting that the 945, as I picked up right here, this little fingertip pulse oximeter, got it off, um, got it off Amazon for about like $25. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested. So what I'm gonna do though, I've always wondered and how a run affects the oxygen level in your blood. So I'm gonna check my oxygen levels now. I'm gonna go and go out on a little three and a half, four mile run. I don't haven't really decided how far I'm going. I'm just gonna go and play it by how I feel. So first, gonna test it right now, go for a run and test it when I get back. So first I'm gonna set you up and let's test it now, right? It's just starting to rain, which I love running in the rain, so that's cool with me. So it's on, fingers out. Let's check it out real quick. All right, oxygen level is at 96% and uh, beats per minute 83. So 96, remember that? So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to suit up. Got my reflective vest here and some headphones so I can go for a little uh, relaxing run. Nothing too crazy. Just want to check on how the whole oxygen level changes after a run. All right, I'm not taking you with me. I'm using my big camera and I just want to relax. To be honest with you, I don't want to talk. All right, so I'll see you in a little bit. Back from the run, I'll get to the details a little bit, but I have the fingertip, pulse on, pulse, pulse, whatever the heck it is, pulseometer. Let me get you set up here. It started to rain a little bit which is awesome for me. I like it. All right, cool. So you're set up. So let's see what happens. Did they go up? Did they go down? Did it stay the same? Fingers in. What's it say? 98. 98 and uh, beats per minute of 142. So it went up. So it was 96 when I started. Now it's 98. I mean, not a success. I was just curious. I had no idea what to expect with this. But I do think this was a better investment than getting the Garmin 945 or 955 and sticking with the Vivo Active 3 music. I don't need all those other bells and whistles. I'm not a professional runner. Probably will never be a professional runner. You never know, but at this point in my life, I know I don't need everything that comes with the top of the line Garmin watch. So this is cool. I'll just keep it around if I'm feeling sick. If I think I have COVID, if I do have COVID eventually, you never know, I'll just use this to check my health. But that's it, that's the run. It turned out to be 4.65 miles at a 10.49 pace. I'll put that somewhere here. Wasn't really going for anything. It's been a while since I've been running. So it's nice just to get out and relax. With the family, it's really hard to get out, but I'm really glad I did. Gotta stick with it. Gotta get back on that health kick. Stay here, stay healthy for my family. But that's it for now. If you don't mind, I am running another channel all about my photography adventures. Running is great. I want to get better, but my passion is photography. I've been doing that since I was 15 years old. So I'm trying to get a little YouTube channel off the ground with that. I'll put the link down in the description, maybe up here somewhere as well. Please give it a check. Like and subscribe there as well. I'd absolutely appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.